Today, we're gonna to be looking at my 2023 everyday carry. That's the group of items I carry with me day to day. A tried and tested bunch of great tech and accessories. Welcome to finance, food and free time. Quite a lot has changed from my 2020 EDC. Thankfully, the mask is out. I've slimmed down and upgraded a few things and I've hung on to a few of the best quality and most hard wearing pieces. An iPhone has always been my most essential everyday carry item. It's my computer, my car key, my GPS, my diary, my entertainment, my camera and so much more. With that, I found a great addition for my iPhone 14 Pro. It's this MagSafe pop grip from Pop Sockets. This just clicks onto the back of any MagSafe iPhone. It allows you to work one-handed and reach easily up into the corners of large phones. It works well as a kickstand for watching videos and if you're on your phone all day like I am, it just gives you great grip and less fatigue than holding your phone up all day with your pinky finger. They also make this card holder version that's a good option if you want to combine your phone and wallet but is a little too bulky for my taste. What's great is that it pulls right off if you want to use it on a MagSafe or Qi charger. It just folds away and I always keep it in my front left pocket. I really like to have a minimal slim wallet and this double cross by Inkleaf offers fantastic organization and is hand stitched from a single piece of soft horween leather that's folded into a three pocket wallet for cash and cards. It's worn in, not out, and I've had this since 2015. It's in remarkable condition considering what it's been through. I keep my car key, driver's license, and a few other cards in the rear slot with my most used bank cards to the center and cash up front. I fold the bills into three and they slot in and hold firmly up front. The wallets are handmade in the USA by Inkleaf in a variety of colors for $60 plus shipping. The next item I've upgraded is my glasses. For any of you non-glasses wearers out there, it's a massive pain when you have to start wearing glasses full time. So I search for a pair that are really minimal and well engineered. I settle on these super thin, but highly durable titanium glasses from Reykjavik Eyes. Designed in Iceland and made in Italy with this gunmetal gray finish, they have a brilliantly designed screwless hinge and come in at about half the weight of an equivalent pair of glasses at just under 15 grams. I've upgraded the lenses to photochromatic so they shade up as soon as they hit sunlight. I've sped this up about three or four times but it's really handy to have your glasses turn into shades like magic. I've also got a scratch resistant and polarized coating added to what I think is a great looking and high tech pair of glasses. I wear these full time with a good quality lens cloth that I keep in my back right pocket. Another piece of tech I wear all the time is my Apple Watch. I've worn an Apple Watch since the very first version and really enjoy the look and utility of this latest version, the Apple Watch Ultra. It does so many things, but I mainly use it for fitness tracking and calorie counting to help stay fit and keep my weight down. It tracks your daily step count and will try to motivate you to do more exercise. I'm a real believer in the saying one is none and two is one and the Apple Watch is a great backup for a lot of different things. It works for contactless payments, which are ubiquitous in the UK and is a fully working backup phone. It has a handy flashlight for getting around dimly lit areas and it can be easily dressed up or down depending on what you're up to. I've picked up a load of different bands over the years and they all get a wear, whether it's formal, outdoor, sport or just casual. The Apple Watch is also perfect for unlocking the charger from my electric car. And with a recent update, is even able to work as a standalone key for my car.
With no longer having a bulky car key, I was hoping to upgrade and slim down my house keys. I also wanted to upgrade this tile tracker to the new Apple AirTags. The AirTags are a much more advanced system that leverage all the other iPhones out there to help find your item if you mark it as lost. They're super easy to set up with just a few clicks to name the tag and it's out with the old, in with the new and the win for Apple. I also picked up this brown full grain leather compact AirTag key organizer from KeySmart. The AirTag just slips inside the leather holder and you screw your keys into the organizer which keeps them jangle free and compact. It takes up to five keys, comes in at about 40 US dollars or 30 pounds and it's quite a nice piece of kit. Unfortunately, this didn't fit my actual house keys and couldn't accommodate my alarm fob or this insurance key ring I pay for annually and keep on all my important keys. For just 15 pounds a year, this key ring has a unique code and offers a reward to anyone who finds them along with insurance cover to replace the keys and any locks to the value of £1,500 per claim. It's well worth getting if you can get cover wherever you live. So with the KeySmart product a failure, I picked up these much cheaper inline key rings from Unbreakable. A pack of four is £18 and they come in a variety of different colours. You just pop the AirTag in behind this piece of protective plastic and hang it on your keychain or via the nice metal carabiner it comes with. If you do lose your air tagged item, you can use Apple's Find Me app to track down exactly where it's at. If your air tag is nearby, your iPhone can lead you straight to it with precision finding. You'll see the distance to your air tag and the direction to head in, all thanks to ultra wideband technology. You can also play a sound to help you identify where it is. I also keep this stealthy key-shaped multi-tool hooked onto my keys. It's got a sharp knife edge you need to be careful of when opening, along with a serrated blade. It's great for when you're traveling with hand luggage only, as it's always passed through security undetected. But if it is confiscated, they only cost about two pounds or dollars to replace. I picked up a pack of two on eBay for just three pound 50, including shipping. It has a flat head and Phillips screwdriver, the mandatory bottle opener and packs a lot of utility, hence the name Utility Key. There is meant to be a small eyeglass type flathead on the top, but I think this may be a fake as that part's not well finished. All in all, for the price, it's well worth tagging onto your keys. The last item I like to keep on my keys is this tritium fob from Tech Accessories. It has an interchangeable self-luminous tritium vial inside that glows without charging for around 10 years. It just makes your items easy to identify, especially in the dark, and is great for attaching to zips, bags, or anything you like. That leads on to my favorite EDC item, a proper multi-tool. I have a bit of an obsession with them and will carry a variety of them depending on what I'm up to. I do tend to mostly carry smaller ones when I'm not doing anything specific as they're super handy and functional and when stored in your watch pocket or on a keychain, you barely know they're there. I keep going back to this no longer available and in my opinion, Hall of Fame keychain multi-tool, the Squirt S4 from Leatherman. I picked this up second hand from eBay and although it's a bit beaten up, it works perfectly. Leatherman still make another great version of this with the pliers and a smaller scissors, but without the tweezers and nail file, that's worth looking at if you're interested. This has a great set of tools that'll get you through most situations. It has a small precision flathead screwdriver along with a larger flathead screwdriver and bottle opener. It's got a 2D Phillips head screwdriver and a nail cleaner with a small measure on the back and a nail file to the front. This does come in handy to keep your fingernails clean but can also be used for some more robust filing. It's got a small but decently sharp blade, nothing that you could go hunting with. 
but it's perfect for opening packages and any other light duty cutting tasks. It's got a large set of spring loaded central scissors that slice through paper and can handle heavier duty tasks. The main draw here is just how compact these are for their utility. They come in at just over two inches wide, under an inch across and weigh in at just two ounces at 58 grams. Another perfect option that's still available for now at least is the Victorinox Manager Swiss Army Knife. It's got a lot going for it and packs a lot of tools in for its tiny size. It also has a pressurized pen built into it that works well and can save you carrying a larger pen. I've done a full review in my other video of my Micro Urban EDC pouch. Check it out at the link above after you finish this one. This fits in to even the smallest of coin pockets and on days I'm working, I like to carry a pen and my to-do list. This Cross ATX Rollerwall pen is a long time favorite of mine. I have it here in shiny chrome and I love the way it looks and feels. It's perfectly balanced and the Rollerball ink gel glides like a fountain pen with all the benefits of a ballpoint. It comes with a lifetime warranty from Cross. I've had the clip on the lid repaired a few times as it can break under too much pressure. When it comes to keeping organized and getting things done, I'm a pen and paper kind of person. I've used this simple single A4 page to run my life for the last few years and it really helps bring all the information from various sources together in one place. Anything that will take me longer than two minutes to deal with goes down on the page. So for example, I'll mark emails as read and then just reference them again from my to-do list as the reminder. I have a section of who to call, email or text, general to-do section, and the most important section, what I'm waiting to hear back on. I was missing this section when I was younger and as most people never seem to get back to me, it's a great way of remembering what's outstanding. Items in the waiting section will make their way back into the main section as required. Down below, I have sections of where I need to go, who I need to pay, who needs to pay me, outside of what my accountant looks after, and a section for health items and reminders. Once the page is filled up or worn out, I transfer it all across to a fresh page and start over. The to-do list never ends and I find it a great simple productivity solution. If I'm working outside my house, I'll fold it up and keep it behind my wallet in my front right pocket. The folds also divide up the back side of the page nicely into sections for extra areas for different projects or ideas. Another great option if you're looking for a more compact pen is the Fisher Space Pen. The pressurized ink it comes with is oil based and can be a bit gummy and doesn't tend to write too smoothly. So I've got a decent hack to upgrade it to have smooth rollerball ink that glides just like the cross pen. It's the Zebra G301 Rollerball Refill Ink. You just need to measure up the inks and mark the length required. Then just snip the end off, screw it back together and it's ready to glide across the page. The Fisher Space Pen is an all time classic and this little hack just makes it perfect in my humble opinion. Rounding off my Apple fanboy collection are these AirPods Pro. I do think Apple makes some of the best gear in the world and these are no exception. Once you're in the Apple ecosystem, everything just works seamlessly and the AirPods connect to the Apple Watch, MacBook and iPhone. They're perfect for listening to music and podcasts, making hands-free phone calls and accessing Siri. They look much better and neater than the original AirPods and the noise cancelling on this latest version is truly exceptional and with the flick of a switch goes from a transparent mode where you can hear the surrounding world clearly to a soundproof booth that filters out all the background humdrum amazingly well. On an airplane, this means you can listen to your content on low volume and really drown out that crying baby you're always sat beside. The case has been massively upgraded too, with all the tracking benefits of the AirTags, including a little speaker 
along with a loop for a lanyard and it's able to charge on an Apple Watch charger or any wireless pad. Battery life is brilliant and I'd really recommend these to anyone that likes good audio quality and appreciates great noise cancellation. They also have a built-in volume control, a must for any Apple user. I keep them alongside my phone in my front left pocket. And that's all my current and favorite EDC items. So go grab yourself some gear and once you're fully loaded, then it's time to check out some other videos on your favorite YouTube channel, finance, food, and free time. If you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. Please hit like if you enjoyed the video and let me know your favorite EDC gear. Please consider subscribing and I'll catch you for the next one.